Hello, Northgate family, and welcome to another edition of the vlog. I look forward to this Sunday worshiping with you uh, around communion. It's the Lord's table, and uh, it's a great time to celebrate. The Lord's body was broken for us because we're broken. And we're going to be talking about that this Sunday, about the brokenness of us and how the ministry of Jesus Christ heals us. We have a lot of fun things going on, so I really want to encourage you to grab a Northgate Notes and uh, look through the list of things that are going. It's a lot. We've had a lot of additional stuff put on our website. If you haven't been to the website lately, please go look. We're, we're doing a better job of keeping the, the content up to date so that you know all that's going on and more information there. NGCCLife.com and then lastly, I just want to ask a question because I get this asked a lot over the 30 years of ministry. It says, why does the church talk about money so much? And I've thought about that too. And there's a real tension there that uh, I, I get because I see um, TV ministries and radio ministries always talking about give and support. And, and I understand that. And then it's like I, I don't want to go there and, and talk about it. And yet, it's the revelation of real discipleship. Let me give you some statistics that I read just this morning from an article from Tithely.com. It says this, 16 of the 38 parables that Jesus taught deals with either money or possessions. That's almost half of them. Nearly 25% of Jesus' words in the New Testament deal with biblical stewardship money, possessions, how we deal with it. 25%. One out of 10 verses in the gospel deals with money and possessions. There are more than 2,000 scriptural references in regards to money and our possessions within the Bible. That's twice as many as faith and prayer combined. So why does the church talk about money? Because it's all about the Bible and we don't uh, exempt teaching the Bible just because we're uncomfortable with a topic. The reality is Jesus said you can't serve God and money. And so it tests our heart when we get irritated with the conversation about money. We have to ask ourselves, is it a method or is it because I'm not surrendered? I know true discipleship gives because I love to give, not because of what it gives me but what it gives to the Lord and appreciation and expression. God is good. So many of you have shared phenomenal, just amazing stories of God's faithfulness to provide. That's his promise. We talked about that earlier this year that God grants us that when we don't turn to the left or to the right, according to Joshua 1, 9, that we obey the scriptures. He blesses us with prosperity and success. I like that. Are you experiencing the blessing of God? I hope so. May God continue to give and direct and bless Northgate in the great things that he has done and continues to do. See you Sunday.